Salvador Dali was born on May 11, 1904, in Figueres, Spain. His talent for drawing was showed at an early age. At the age of 14, Dali entered his first artistic exhibition. Salvador Dali would become the world's best-known surrealist artist. Dali's parents had different feelings about him pursuing an art career. His father was very strict and was against his son having an art career. It was Dali's mother who encouraged him to pursue an art career. In 1921, Dali attended the Academy of Art in Madrid. Here, Dali learned many different techniques. One technique is Impressionism. This portrait is the portrait with the neck of Raphael. This portrait is an Expressionist work. Another technique was Post-Impressionism. This is a painting of the cellist Ricardo Pichot and is a post-impressionist work. The last technique that Dali learned at the Academy was a cubist style. This painting is called Venus and Amorini. This painting is a cubist style of work. In 1925, Dali had his first solo exhibition at the Damao Gallery in Barcelona. In 1930, he would begin creating his surrealist artwork. This method is based on the human mind's ability to link ideas and objects that are not rationally connected. The name of this artwork is called the Lobster Telephone. Dolly had created this art piece to reveal the secret desires of the unconscious. He believed that these two objects were both playful and menacing. This surrealist art piece is called the Med Meditative Rose. It shows a floating rose with no stem. The rose was painted to look massive to the viewer. This surrealist art piece is called Sleep. Dolly created this painting to show his fascination with the world of dreams. Surrealists got most of their ideas from their dreams. Some of Dolly's work dealt with landscapes. This piece is called Labyrinth and it shows a person's body being the doorway inside a mountain. The body is part of the mountain landscape. The Persistence of Memory is Salvador Dali's most well-known painting. It comes from Dali's theory of softness and hardness. Dali showed an understanding of the world by painting this picture. Dali got his understanding from Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. In 1936, saw the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War. Dolly began showing his dislike of war with his paintings. This painting is called the Slave Market. It is to show that slavery and change, chains are forged during wartime. Another wartime painting is the Temptation of Saint Anthony. Dolly created this painting to show the power that war brings upon people. St. Anthony is retaliating against the larger force. This wartime painting is called the Geopoliticus Child. Dolly choose, chose, this, chose to paint this to show the revolution of America and the new nation. He wanted to put emphasis on the idea that America is the world's new superpower. This last painting of war is called The Face of War. The Face of War shows Dolly's feelings for war. He believes that war only brings death and pain. The painting shows a face filled with death and agony. After the wars had passed, Dolly had started creating more religious art pieces. This piece, for example, shows the curse of nar Narcissus. This story was, des was derived from Greek mythology. Another religious art piece is the Sacrament of the Last Supper. This painting shows Dolly's increased interest in religion. This painting came from the religion Christianity. This last religious painting is called the Crucifixion. Dolly again demonstrates his understanding of religions and beliefs. He makes a striking change with this painting Instead of painting flat, he paints using hypercubes. A hypercube has four spatial dimensions.
this one of Dolly's most famous paintings. Salvador Dolly passed away on January 23, 1989. He is still the world's best known Spanish surrealist painter.